Local organizations celebrating a day of love here in Myrtle Beach, but it was also met with some backlash from others throughout the community. Samuel Shelton has the latest from Pride in the Park and spoke with both sides at the event. Love conquers hate. A message Myrtle Beach resident Joe P and hundreds of others are spreading throughout the third annual Pride in the Park Festival. It's put on by Pride Myrtle Beach, where organizers say it's a day of visibility for the LGBTQ plus community and its allies. We're all trying to find love and we're all trying to do it in a peaceful, great fashion. And uh, yeah, I don't think anyone is really against that. To his surprise, this event open to everyone also attracted others who are protesting for what they say elements throughout the event like a drag show performance is something out of line. What makes it so important to have children there? Again, we're not against drag queens. We're only against drag queens performing in front of children. A stance Myrtle Beach resident Grim Dickinson strongly stands on, although he says he doesn't have children. Others like State Representative Thomas Beach were also among the small group of protesters. He says he's now sponsoring the Defend Children's Innocent Act. This bill is designed to uh, protect children from lewd and explicit activities that would be found in a drag queen show. Not like it's a lifestyle. It's not like it's brainwashing kids. This is something that is just who people inherently are. Throughout the festival, Proud Myrtle Beach is welcoming everyone to fun, food, and music, as well as connecting folks to vital resources like health care within the LGBTQ plus community. One concern mine was focused on another agenda. Meanwhile, organizers say it's about visibility and expression. Once this bill gets passed legally in the state of South Carolina, no drag queen show will be will be seen fit for children 18 and under. We don't really want anyone to be anyone but who they are, so we don't bypass anyone. We let people be themselves. That's the purpose of having a space like this where people can come out and 100% feel comfortable with being their self. In Myrtle Beach, Samuel Shelton, WNBA 